Howdy folks, Justin here. We're going to hop onto the ladder with our Crusader, life gain, mid-range, maybe value deck. Hope the season's going well for everybody. I am looking forward to playing the season a lot. I've been having a lot of good fun. Um, I heard in a PC Gamer interview with Pete Hines recently, uh, just today actually, that uh, the game is likely to be released in March, which is super exciting. And uh, on their uh, the stream on um, the Bethesda Twitch account, they announced that there will be an expansion announcement or, or new content announcement sometime in the next six weeks or so. So something to look forward to. Playing against Sorcerer again. <laughs> Um, we'll keep Ravenous Hunger. This is, of course, the Flavor of the Week deck. Um, it was interesting. Yesterday, well, this is the third that I'm recording this. The first couple days of the season were great. Tons of diversity and stuff like that. And it seems like people have found their new net deck. So, um, I think I Ravenous Hunger, because I need to get that off the table. And play control in this matchup. And this is, if there was ever a tempting target to get removed with a swing, it would got to be this, right? Or you just mace some encumbrance in. Right. This is, uh, always a pleasure. So we're likely to see, I mean, that play to me says 100%. Hey, I'm running, uh... Necromancers. So we do have pretty good play this turn in this and this and this. Putting us back at 30. Cloudrest Illusionist if we want to take out another creature like this. Um, Skeppin Pyromancer obviously has some uh, anti-synergy with our 4-1 creature. But this isn't bad. This isn't you bad at all. Uh, sure. Five Magicka. I could Piercing Javelin that. It seems to me that there are likely better targets for it. So I'm just going to play this to contest that. Um, <clears throat> we got to keep track of his graveyard, too. His discard pile. For, uh, Master of Arms Mother purposes. But getting Stampede Sentinel on the table would be pretty nice. This is an, inc I mean, this is a mid-range or a control card, right? So this is just the most insane value, like, silence for that sort of deck I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. We're gonna take our Triumph at Yarl. And I don't feel bad about running Triumph at Yarl on this deck because this is a life gain deck, right? There's no guilt associated with, uh, playing a life total matters card when your deck gains you life, right? Isn't that, uh, that's the excuse I'm using. Okay. Sure. Let's do this. I would protect the hiss. Yeah. So um we got a couple options here. I mean, there's a lot of value in Cloud Resolutionist Swing. But, that doesn't leave us much else on the table. I kind of like just Belligerent Giant into that. Ride them down. Swing. Swing. He didn't have the uh, Lightning Bolt last turn. And he can't play that and Lightning Bolt this turn. And if he plays that again this turn, we can just Piercing Javelin it. Or we can just play I Vigilant to. Giant too. Yeah, like I'd love to play Tyr right now. But actually, I think this is the first time I've caught us getting him on Prophecy on camera. Doesn't that feel good? A 5-4 breakthrough guard. I think that feels really good. Um, now that we're ahead in life... Hmm. Let's do this. I'm only hitting him for two, so we don't break a rune, right? Now we're just going to Vigilant Giant. We're heading life. We're, we're playing a control now. Um, I think we've stabilized. 
He's one turn off from playing... Well, hopefully he's not running Mummify. It's actually what I need, but need to say first. But he's one turn off from playing Atromancer. Uh, okay. I will protect the hiss. Okay. Do you have another Harpy? Careful there, friend. Hmm. Well, at nine Magicka, I can Dawnstar Healer and Piercing Javelin, which feels pretty good. So, let's Javelin. Let's Dawnstar Healer. Let's go ahead and swing into that. Uh, and I feel pretty good about what's going on right now. It's going to take... Uh, I mean, it's not going to take actually a ton of effort to get control of the board. You know, if he has a lightning bolt and another fire bolt, uh, he can do it. Some shackle effects would do it. But we're at 28. I feel pretty good about this. Sure. You have a guard creature? So, plus two, plus zero guard creature? No. Okay. Let's... There we go. Feel pretty good about that. So now, with this here, even if he has a Winter's Grasp shackle all enemy creatures, and he's just trying to cheese out a win. I think we're pretty good. The card I'm th I kind of want to run in this deck that I'm not running is Crushing Blow. I've kind of, I was, r I used to run that in every deck I played, and it was fantastic. But recently I have uh, kind of strayed away from using it. Victory is yours. Yeah, good game, man. Um, but this actually feels like a deck that would appreciate a little bit of reach, a little bit more removal. So that's something that I'm definitely considering doing. I was in the Serpent. Good times. Uh, yeah, let's see. That was that was only seven and a half minutes, so let's go ahead and clock in another game here, see what happens. Um, I recorded another video. I recorded three videos when I first recorded with these. I've released two of them. Um, and one of them has a great game against um, the Merrick Supreme Atromancer Battle Mage deck, but the sound is so screwed up in those videos that I'm sort of hesitant to sort of hesitant to upload it, it's just irritating to listen to. I believe I fixed the sound issue now. Um, at some point the sound was reset during, uh, during a balance patch or something like that and got turned up or whatever for the client act, the uh, in-game sound. So. Mono neutral Jim Jam. This is going to be amazing. I'm glad I'm recording and I'm going to say now that if I lose this will be the greatest moment of my Elder Scrolls Legends career. Greetings. This is freaking amazing. I hope he destroys me. I think we're actually friends. I said, if you beat me, it'll be the most amazing moment of my Legends career. Good luck with the neutral zone. <laughs> that is glorious. <laughs> cool. No, oh, this is nice. This is nice. Uh, yeah, so we just burn Profiteer execute. <laughs> There's a plan. There's always a plan. And we will make sure to clear all these off the board, because, uh, 
you know, in two turns, Halls of the Dwemer would, or, you know, he drops that, we're going to have a bad time. Also, let me just say, this looks amazing. I really like that. So as far as removal goes, he could be running Crushing Blow. I like our arm. So it's worth uh, remembering that. And uh, no plays next turn, which is unfortunate. So as prophecies goes, uh, Sparking Spider, Dwarven Spider, or, yeah, Dwar Dwemer Spider. Um, <sighs> Lurking Crocodile, maybe. Yeah, because this says prophecy, right? Yeah. Let's do this. You won't spoil my plan. <clears throat> so we're gonna say man down to tier. And just proceed to run face. Uh man, rank one already too. That's awesome. Do you have the halls of the Dwemer? Oh my god. Yes. That's glorious. Okay, so Halls of the Dwemer next turn will actually be kind of a disaster for us. I think we're just going to... Well, yeah, let's just trade in. Right? Or is... I mean, this this might be worth it, actually. Yeah. I actually think it is. Uh, because we just want to kill him. Oh, man. That was this. That was the draw where we needed to get a belligerent giant to destroy Halls of the Dwemer. That's the thing. Any deck that hits turn that hits turn five or turn six Halls of the Dwemer and is reasonably f built uh, can win, no question. That card is very powerful. Um, I've won games on ladder with Dwemer actually, with some really just janky decks. It's really even surprising. Okay, so there's Crushing Blow. Do you have a second Crushing Blow? Uh, we are instantly removing this if we get the opportunity to, by the way. Sparking Spider, maybe. Ooh. Can that bonus go away when we kill that? We are about to find out. It does. Okay. Ride them down. Uh, this puts this in crushing blow range. That's all right. It's funny because I want to play this first, Let heat things up. and then play Dawnstar Healer, and then I'm just going nuts on the life gain, and I'm executing that. Yeah, I did want to damage that in addition to that. And now we can just roll on Vigilant Giants or Piercing Javelin. That's again sort of a weakness of this deck though, right? I mean, you need to be able to... It's like Scout Ramp. If you don't curve out... Oh my god. <laughs> Spider Daedra. <laughs> oh my god. The egg, a fine battle. Spider Daedra is glorious. Don't mess with me. Alright. Okay, so I said first time I've ever played with Spider Daedra, haha, ha, keep doing Shagorath's work. That's awesome. Good for him. Okay, so I'm going to cut this video off here because I think what I'm going to do is try to edit in using amazing computer skills that I don't have. He says, lol, yeah, good luck, have fun on ladder. Um...
I think I'm going to try to edit in the video where I play against Battle Mage, um, the Merrick Battle Mage control deck thing, uh, and see how that works. So we'll cut it off here. Hope everyone's having a great season, and I'll see you all on the ladder. Bye-bye. The testing I did without Speed Sentinel, the testing that I did in um, against the AI, certainly, and uh, even against people in casual mode. So Wu is the name of our opponent, playing Battle Mage which they have already gotten to rank 4. If this is aggro battle mage, this feels like a pretty good hand. <laughs> Let's see a crappy one drop. Okay. Um, there's a potential for... There's a play. There's always a play. Nord Firebrand into... <laughs> um, Steel Scimitar. So we lay this down over here. Um, sure. I will gladly play a Ravenous Hunger. Now this still could be Merrick, which is a worse matchup for us. I want to draw Execute no matter what kind of battle mage this is. By the eight, they will meet their maker. That's not gonna do. We will lay down the Dark Star Healer so that we can contest this unless he immediately equips it. My guess is this is not Prophecy Shit. Battle Mage, unfortunately, after seeing that card. Okay, and he does just go ahead and take an alteration on there. I'm certainly tempted to just piercing Javelin. I have two of these charges left, so I could follow it up with Golden Saint, which feels really nice. Um, and then follow Golden Saint up with Stampede Sentinel. So let's do that. Don't miss just to make me. sure we aren't going to do anything else. Let's swing. And then, yeah, let's just uh, get that off the board. Force him to react to what we have. And if he spends, spends his turn answering that threat instead of doing anything else, that's perfect. His Golden Saint can't be answered by his answer next turn, which is Ice Storm. And uh, on turn six, I imagine this is pretty difficult for Mage to handle, especially one Lightning Bolt down. Yeah, you got, you got two of those. Let's things. shed some light on the problem. Triggers because Hermamora you know, triggers us. in the raiding party. So you're just kind of going for it, huh? Uh, well, let's swing. Swing, I mean, we're just all in. Let's play Stampede Sentinel. Kill our opponent for two. He loses a Shimmering Peddler. Interesting. Um, Piercing Javelin, a pretty good answer to, obviously, anything he lays I down. Have... In particular, I like it to use it to kill Mark. Time to fight! Kill us! The elements are mine to control. Yeah, you got it. Looking to make a purchase? Yep. So... We only hit him for 11 if we just swing face and kill that. And, uh, sorry, javelin it. We can't javelin and pyromancer, which is unfortunate. If we javelin, he's got a invest a lot of resources into killing it if he's, his plan is Ice Storm. So I'm going to Javelin. And I'm going to swing. I'm going to swing. No prophecy. Uh, this represents a lethal attacker. So I'll play that. I will push them back. He would need Ice Storm plus two more damage. Oh no, just plus one. So with the Relentless Raider he has in his hand, he can Ice Storm, swing all his dudes in, kill that, but he can't kill this unless he has a Firebolt or something like that additionally. Hands off my way! All too right. simple. My fight is done by the end of fine battle. A uh, good game, Merrick. Uh, Merrick, Supreme Atermancer Battle Mage.
That was uh, really easy. Um...